It's the verdict many have been waiting for for just over a week now. The one that will decide who between TV personality Ashley Hayden and exotic dancer and club owner Gigi will walk away with the title of Survivor South Africa, Santa Carolina. Before the announcement was made at the Mnet Studios in Johannesburg on Wednesday night, here's a brief recap of what happened at the final Tribal Council. Well, I came here to play a game. I had to go by instinct. The only important thing for me was to endure and to outwit a little bit in the end and to try, and I'm sorry, Shade, but try and vote my own people off. And I'm sitting here, and what you see is Gigi stripped down, bare, naked in front of you. But I came here to do a job and I felt I've completed it. And I'm sorry if you don't agree with the way I played it, but I did what I did for pure and good reasons. With the exception of controversial hip-hop star Jub Jub, all the castaways from this season were present at the finale. They were just as anxious to find out who would be the ultimate survivor and with that, it was then time for host Nico Panaggio to announce the big winner. And that was... And the winner of Survivor South Africa, Santa Carolina, Gigi! Yeah! My experience was it was completely out of my ballpark. It was something that I would never even dream of doing. So I went there and I couldn't believe that I actually got through the challenges. I never won it, but I got through them. And that I went through those hard conditions and I endured there for 27 days and nights. And we came out and we looked terrible and <laughs> we smelled terrible and everything like that. But we actually made it through and I'm very proud to be standing here. And I'm proud to be standing next to such an amazing woman. And also the people that we were on that island with, the whole crew was just amazing. And it was a, it was a very positive experience. She also said that she'd achieved what she was hoping to coming into the game. At the end, there was two girls standing next to each other and we had a strong message for society and about women in society. And I mean, I work with women and um, this is such a positive thing for me um, to say that women are actually so much stronger than we think that they actually are. While some were disappointed that she didn't win, Hayden said she was pleased that she'd got as far as she did and that her mission to create awareness for her charity, The Homestead, had been achieved. The fact that I have 200,000 rand from Mnet and 20,000 rand from Liquid Fruit and 10,000 rand from Pick and Pay means there are 230,000 rand that go off to The Homestead, which are going to be so used in the best possible way. And it really does make every second on that grimy, stinky island looking like a dirty old piece of biltong with a black eye, absolutely worth it. So thank you to our sponsors for their generosity. They are amazing.